<laughs> Hello! Sorry, uh, in this place I have artificial light, but this video will gonna be about my workspace setting room. This is my usually my happy place, but in the last time I don't feel very happy in that place because it's very cluttered. Before I do something like sewing or some leather works, I need to move a pile of things from other place to another place. If I want to use my iron board, again I need to took a pile of things and move to this place if I want to use my sewing machine the same story again I took a pile of things and moved to other place and it's too much movement if you want to do your work like timing quality way also now well, it's a business. Time costs money. And other thing, every time I open the door and walk in, I was like, oh, again, that place. So sad. So very sad. Yes, today we will tackle this place. Actually, I did it already. <laughs> I'm playing rewards and after all I will show you how this end up so I decided to change this side to this and actually tomorrow I'm going to IKEA just buy some Kallax shelf because I saw that it, there is a discount and I think that shelf can solve a little bit here some problem what I have is a clutter so I will show you a uh, washing machine that machine always was there but I'm using it also like a, <laughs> like a place where I'm keeping my packages. I have only one shelf and it's not enough. So that IKEA part will be in the same high. I don't like this clutter, especially under the table. Actually, this table was very, very huge someday but we change it <laughs> and now it's built it here uh, the walls isn't straight so it's built in this place and it will stay <laughs> i try to show you how it looks here luckily i'm petite <laughs> so i can work here even my head doesn't catch uh, a wall it's quite a lot <laughs> place if I would be taller it can, could be a problem there is some my treasures like um, board and magazines old ones some personal things in boxes like uh, al photo albums etc also there is a scanner there under the table uh, this is a Christmas tree related things. There is a sewing machine and I'm kind sad that I'm not using it. It's a task to do this. Also, this mess is <laughs> with the wires also isn't a very nice thing. <laughs> Clean, clean out everything. 
everything under there clean with a vacuum cleaner and uh, move this stuff to this side so I hope I will be able to do this all um, yeah it's evening but uh, 8 o'clock I just want to move and be sure that my idea will work out if I can't do this, there is no point to buy new furniture. Yeah. But before I will go and eat a bush. Bush, 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 bush. <laughs> have this free space for Cadillacs. I'm not planning, planning to do everything in one time because of my budget, but step by step. And I think this will gonna be very functional working space in the end, because right now it's not. see this stuff anymore okay this light is quite embarrassing so I just took the cheapest thing in Ikea a light chandelier how you call it and this is gonna be like this I like actually I love uh, everything with structure I really love it I, I have even a walls not this one but everywhere else walls isn't smooth but they are with a structure and I love it very much <laughs> for now it looks like this quite messy everything is very messy but I hope this will handle my space do, 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 do. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> I can't try to put uh, a lamp. I even needed to turn off electricity at all home because I was open till the wires. And anyway, it's not like I was planning. So tomorrow there will be 
uh, natural light I will do the same again and it was my first time ever when I was opening this all stuff till the wires and screwing off that Cooper wire thing <laughs> I was scared also yeah so uh, next I will tackle my magazines Ta-da! <laughs> and I really want from this wonky uh, folder keepers go to this one um, I took only th six how I decided to organize this space in this space at first I want to put everything saving related so and also knitting related so for first <laughs> I just put knitting uh, bridging bags there it doesn't look quite nice but anyway uh, still can stay like this and um, and I want that this shelf is more leather work related so that's my plan because I also have a boxes and other things with, with leather work and would be greater everything like in one place so yeah and I will organize and check out what I have there sun sometimes in this room you see the sun sometimes <laughs> rare but you have the sun quite promising that here I will have free table <laughs> I hope so in the end it will be please welcome to my super small space it's only a five square meters there is no window please welcome to my rabbit hole <laughs> Rabbit hole. <laughs> it's done. I did did everything what I wanted, and that one small piece of furniture, unfortunately from IKEA, did that work what I was planned. And from beginning, I would love to tell you everything about what I have here. The main thing here is a washing machine. That machine always was there and I never had wishing to have it in bathroom. I just don't want there a washing machine. Therefore, she's living here. From the beginning, we started living in this apartment how i told you i want to cover it and actually i have an idea if i will cover it with a wood plane like this and this i can add here an organizer and put scissors because i was thinking maybe i can put scissors on the hooks on the wall but if I will have an organizer, I can put something related stuff here. So we have a plan. We will do it. And here I have a magazine, which where I found a pattern for my middle ones, a graduation dress. We will put it here. Here I am keeping all my packaging. This is used, but. I'm using this one bigger and small ones and paper bags and I have for small stuff this white big paper bags and also for some uh, bigger high teams or maybe I'm afraid that uh, moist can damage it I'm using also this packaging, but this is more rare. Uh, this is a blue one box. 
basket <laughs> i really love it um, for a while it was in the basement but uh, i remember about it and decided this would be a great place where i can organize my packaging but uh, actually it's not so much right now usually i have much more and all this washing machine i'll cover it with packaging <laughs> And here I am keeping my quite big uh, patterns. It's a great way how you can organize the patterns which you want, don't want to roll or you don't want to fold. You just keep this uh, file holders, put it on and put on the hook. And actually it works very nice then I have my apron which I'm using when I'm cooking or painting with a oil paint and how I organize so I will took you and show you I will took a big scale to show you this is my iron board I put it right now here would love to hang out but uh, if I'm hanging out it's just you see easily opening and here I just tackle a little bit under this uh, vacuum station and it stays under I have uh, my iron this will stay here because I put it here by myself Everything related of like drilling and screwing for me, it's a huge job and I'm not ready to do it again. And I don't know where can I put it. Uh, for now, it's uh, charging here and it's fine. So it's quite fine. Mannequin, uh, some days ago, my daughter asked, does she have a name? she doesn't maybe you want to give her a name but this is uh, our foam uh, there is a foam cover it with jersey fabric and actually <laughs> i did some uh, alternation i cut and sanded this bust and uh, also a waistline just and hips everything that it's in my size but i did it like uh, four years ago and now for now i am in a different shape you know <laughs> a little bit fatter <laughs> but because i am not moving right now but maybe after moving i will get back in this shape but uh, uh, for me, most important thing is still the waist. So I think for now it's also can work because I'm kind, I'm not changed in sizes. I'm still can wear the same size, just it's maybe a little bit fitted. And here it is. And this tackled everything for now. I have free table and just have a coffee. <laughs> And I didn't want to go crazy to buy uh, organizing uh, stuff in IKEA because uh, I'm, I'm not ready to spend a lot of money and waste my money. Therefore, I just said, okay, I know that I need six this uh, uh, document holders where I am putting my old borders. Uh, it's fine. Could, uh, but I decided I need more because they are very, very fitted here. And uh, uh, here I put it uh, knitting related things. It's a yarn. And usually I was uh, go uh, stepping up to this stool to hang out this yarn, which was quite high. And I'm afraid from high, even if I am on the stool. <laughs> So this is very nice for me. Uh, uh, in, in fast way, I put it here, but actually it doesn't stay there. Uh, I tackled just like this, 
my knitting project bags with my knits but uh, here i know that i need at least two boxes like huge boxes which you can put there uh, because the, the, in that way i can tackle it m much more nicer so here i have everything saving related uh, this I use also when I am ironing on vinyl my labels and unfinished and projects which I want unraveled to and unfinished projects which I would love to finish. So it's the end of March and I haven't done anything about this. But it's good to make a plans, but <laughs> but uh, this. Uh, shelf i think soon it will be tackled because i have here um, projects which i want to also finish it but there is a finished already project which i need to took pictures and i think i will uh, they are staying there for years like two and three years already and i will put in my etsy shop for a huge discount i hope someone will need it and i will be happy to find them a new place there is a um like i can show you there is uh, some sleeping masks uh, from COVID time we have this but of course I will not put in this in Etsy shop but I made, made this masks but they're not related right now also I have garlands from linen and lace like I use it out scraps because I have the, had them uh, I was selling some wedding dresses also I have this experience too and in this box I have leather work already done uh, leather work which I also want to just took a picture and put in uh, in this shop here I put it all my uh, uh, here I put it all my patterns which I am using right now this I had passion to sell uh, one one some time ago underwear so I think I will go back to this because I love to sew underwear at least for myself it's not for a business it's just for fun here I have knitting related patterns so a little bit kind of mismatch but now I know where it is and at least uh, the all these borders all this one i have from 76 i think we'll see is this the oldest one no i think this one which year it is 75 wow i was quite sad that this sal was staying here under the table and there was a huge mess under the table but for now uh, but for now there is a christmas related things actually i i have a plan this summer to tackle my basement and i will put it there and bring only when we will have a christmas my shoes um i'm using right now these boots but actually uh when it will be our uh, summertime and warmer weather i will put them away in the boxes but why i am keeping them here because my cats love to just took a taste of my shoes and, well i don't want to um, chew that they <laughs> chew my shoes and there is uh, two boxes with uh, my personal stuff uh, it's a photography all albums and just printed out photos and deeper I put uh, the uh, printer and in this room I'm not turning on a heater maybe when it was a very very cold weather I turn it on so leather I was 
thinking and I really don't know how to do this I, I really need to think about it but uh, the, there is a dead space so I, I would never have a leather till the up it's always like this so I think we need to I, I need to think how to make here like a inner uh, shelves like this because I really love this table I really loved when it was a huge very huge table and much more wider than it is right now because for now it's just specific build it in this room from wall to wall to this wall it would be nice to just use uh, all space and actually I can put there much more things some, some I don't know maybe we'll find what <laughs> maybe a fabric because fabric I'm not keeping here but yes uh, mm, here I have uh, leather thread saw in this box here I have two boxes with uh, fabric threads here I have uh, scraps linen scraps that I don't want to give away or just put away and deeper I have three boxes with uh, leather scraps which I also just hope to use them for smaller projects well when I have super small projects I'm Taking that boxes and just check out maybe I can make like a rabbit kitchen from some of that scraps that I have uh, still there always was leaving this heavy magazines which I am using like a pressing when I'm gluing some stuff from leather still they are staying here now we are in this side still I have this uh, shelf and here I have my sewing machine perfectly uh, put it there here I I didn't tackle this salon but would love to here I have a cow leather uh, measurement uh, thing how it calls lineals in Latvian <laughs> metal metal measurement thing uh, cardboard paper also again a leather so but it's living in this uh, funny paper bag <laughs> a b c d e f g <laughs> and but perfectly came there and I think yes for now it can stay there if I will have there some second shelf I can put that things there because it's a rolled things I love my sewing machine I love this beautiful uh, yellow lamp it's like a sun in this room where I don't have how you see a window and my table this is uh, with the lamps it's very nice also this lamps lamp give me some uh, shine some art pieces so I would love to put more something but uh, actually uh, this art piece will going back to the kitchen I just need to uh, buy new frame for it and here I can put something but I have a plan maybe later I can make a shelf from doors like this if I will need some new space where to tackle something or maybe to make the second floor of shelf here I have this box also I tackled it I have some leather stuff broke board I need to um, order a new one this is my mostly used lineals <laughs> still don't know how it is in english here i have some paper stuff pens pencils uh, markers all scissors and hammer which i'm using very often with my leather work uh, paints also but they they losing with the time it 
some days ago it was quite full and now it's leftovers <laughs> here I have some, uh, big needles let's show you uh, for my leather work I'm not using anything from this place uh, for uh, sewing but here I, uh, I had a singer machine and here I have some stuff which I keep it to myself and it's very beautiful. This uh, you were using to transfer a pattern to fabric. You just rolled with this uh, thing. It looks like this. So you just rolled and transferred your pattern. So it was a very interesting stuff and i really love it i don't want to give it away this is my uh, leather uh, work station it's a mat i damaged it a little bit because you can't put here warm or hot things like a tea or something it will become very wavy but for now it works actually would love to buy the same uh, just to cover all my table maybe or maybe to change this one but actually it works for now i don't need to change it for now but it's a very it's quite a very expensive thing it's it's well gonna be a like investment and here i have everything leather related things like patterns um, uh, what i have vinyl where i printed out all my uh brand labels before I give it away my Cricut okay I sold sold my Cricut didn't give it away here I am keeping some of my drawings and uh, also cut it out things uh, and folders here I have paper for my printer and of course my labels for packaging and I'm just was working on some order, so I keep it here, not showing you. And here I have boxes, which I covered with um, uh, like gift wrapping paper. And uh, these boxes are older, they are marked. This I made just uh, last week, I made them. I have one without cover here i have my old-fashioned uh, covers which i am actually using and here i have also a ready to go bags stuff also for leather work here i have like a, you can stamp in the leather a uh, letters <laughs> i forgot what it is also my stamp where I'm making some, um, how it calls, all the time I'm thinking how it calls, how it calls, well, just stamping some stuff, okay, uh, like this, I'm keeping it under my table because there is a place still, but I'm using from this, that huge stamp, I'm using for these things. I have some projects where I need them. And this I'm putting here, but actually it's not very handy, but okay, still it can stay there. This is my sweet, young, very young artist <laughs> in the beginning of career. And here I'm keeping my also uh, file keepers, holders. I'm using to gluing some leather works. When I will need it, I will took it. And also I also uh, use, uh, use to keep here uh, these rollers. rollers. Uh, I'm uh, actually are using them quite 
often because I'm cleaning before packing my orders from the fur and other stuff, dust from the making and yes, and it stays there, but for now. I will put my beautiful little artist here and this is my clock. That clock always was staying there so I decide it's, it will stay there. <laughs> and here I made like a station for printing my super odd computer or how you call it PC. It's very sad <laughs> But in this place, if even if I'm working, uh, especially if I'm working with linen, it's very dusty. And I don't want to keep here a newest, my touch things. And this works very well. I can print out the labels. I can tackle some listings here. I did it yesterday. <laughs> And this is uh, also a very old printer, which I would love to change, but not for now. I have another priorities. This uh, is the order which are waiting for a uh, courier <laughs> soon. I hope they will call me and I will run away. <laughs> and here I have box for wrapping some also. Uh, uh, paper tags and threads, linen threads, paper threads, all I'm keeping here. And this I found in this box <laughs> and I decided to use it at first maybe for my jewelry or some this type stuff. But in the end I used this leather leather plate for my knitting I put there all stitch markers and use them there was a t 29 stitch markers which I needed to use to count the rows and it was very handy I love it but for now it's empty and can keep my things like this and also this is living here too because I'm using this stuff for my paperwork too we call it a uh, overlock like I'm using this stuff but also not so often because I'm not saving every day like I'm working with the leather and for now it stays here it's a super old very old it's uh, tackled with the uh, duct tape Ah, it's very very old um, but it uh, works very nice and I would love to have like new one but I have so many wishes uh, if this boy will <laughs> broke then I will buy a new one but for now I think I will just use it how it is would be nice to have something very beautiful here but I will I will think about it. For now, I have this stuffed hertz from mm, Velvety Leather. But actually, we have a name in uh, suit leather, I think you call it in English. In Latin, it's a uh, zamsh, suit leather. So, yes, I keep it there. And I haven't saved for now after I tackle this place here so I hope this will be very nice work to set and I have this tool it's much uh, for me it is much better than for with a bag holder this tool works much better and I can roll it up if I need it to sit nearby this table so it's quite handy I love it uh, also if I would have a bigger stool with a bag bag no yes bag holder it will took a lot of space so I'm working here and it works very well uh, I'm not complaining about this stool at all <laughs> Okay, but you will ask to me, Iveta, but where is your fabric? 
I'm not keeping my fabric here because I don't have a place for it, but it's just here. <laughs> I will show you. Oh, here I am keeping my fabric. Um, here I have everything with linen related things and my uh, stuff for bag making. Here I have all fabrics and uh, already made dresses for my middle one girl. Uh, it was a very beautiful work. Maybe I can show you someday. I tackled it in a tissue paper I keep in here. And many other projects which I want to remade and some fabric scraps. Uh, I had much more, but how I said, said before, I sold many things. And here I have much more everything. This is a mess because this all is uh, ribbing, elastic ribbing. So, and here I have some old fabric. And also some saving stuff too like uh, zippers and finished projects also <laughs> yes this is a mess here we can work and tackle everything and just it's not very handy right now but this is all i'm keeping in this two no in this three boxes so here i have a fabric <laughs> This is my room with a beautiful light, at least for now. <laughs> uh, and I tackled everything that I have. Here it is <laughs> uh, my new space. I'm I'm feeling very inspired right now. Uh, I was even sharing with my like a friend with whom I have a common interest about sewing and I just sharing to her I'm so inspired I really would love to do many sewing right now actually I'm watching a, a lot of again vintage type uh, videos about sewing and I really want to make for myself some new garments and yes I have so many ideas so less of time <laughs> but it feels right now very nice I think um, the downside before was the, that play that all that things wasn't in in place because there wasn't a place where to put them I'm that kind of person who is quite uh, it makes me feel very bad if I see uh, like clutter if I see also a dust on the floor I even can't eat uh, peacefully my breakfast I need to clean the floor before I can enjoy my <laughs> breakfast so and it means about this place and I love that it's right now quite tackled it's very small but actually I'm living in a quite big uh, apartment and my kiddos is quite grown up already the oldest one will be a 20 years old so I hope during the next maybe five years I will have a one more free space which I will remain like my sewing room sewing room and we will leave there some uh, alternative for sleepover <laughs> uh, but yes uh, then I will have a room with a window and yeah, I'm dreaming already about that and then I I'm dreaming that, that in that place I will have much more vintage furniture because I really love vintage furniture you can tell it right now 
because I have this IKEA Calyx, but actually I really love vintage furniture and I would love to make some not so whitey space but more warmer. For me it would be more welcoming more. Maybe moody, more style like from the beginning of 20th century sewing rooms or <laughs> something like this, yes. But for now this place works very well. I can use my huge table also. I'm happy that I'm so petite and I can <laughs> uh, feel this place quite nice. I hope there will come new ideas for my brand. I hope to make here a, a beautiful garments from me, from my family. So, ta-da! <laughs> here I am, happy person. So, very happy person. This was my rabbit hole or sewing room. Call it how you want it. And um, this place is very important for me and I was happy to share with you with this place. Bye! <laughs>